Bonjour, comment ça va? Très bien. Je m'appelle Simone Hill. Uh, je suis américain. And I am in Mauritius right now. I'm filming this video of Mahaberg Mauritius. This will be a part of my classic series called Black Sit, where I travel to different countries and live and be in those countries for an extended period of time and talk about my experience as a black American abroad. If you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video, all of that. I don't do these videos for clout. I don't do these videos to try to anger people. I don't do these videos to try to denigrate the country or culture or society I'm talking about. I am solely, solely making this video for other black travelers, particularly black American travelers, and to speak out against white supremacy and to speak out against discrimination of any kind against any sort of people wherever they are. With that one minute preface out of the way, let's get to the story. So I came to Mauritius about three months ago. Today is the last day that I will be in Mauritius. I am traveling to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, uh, and I should be there by Sunday, uh, October 30th. Today is October 28th. It's gonna be a long flight, long journey, a lot of layovers. Anyway, I came here to Mauritius uh, back in August for my honeymoon. If you've been following my content, you know I got married in Turkey uh, earlier this year, back in May. And I came here for my honeymoon with my wife to this beautiful island nation. For people that don't know, Mauritius is a small island country in the Indian Ocean, connected to Africa on the continental, sh uh, continental shelf of Africa. Not that far away from Madagascar and close to Reunion Island, which is a part of France. It's an island um, populated mostly by Indians who were brought here as indentured servants and descendants of African slaves who were brought here by the French. Um, I've had a great time here in Mauritius. And if you want to know the short answer about if there is racism in uh, Mauritius, the short answer is yes. And you can click away on this video. It's obvious. Every country in the world, there exists racism, xenophobia, bigotry, of course, like that. But I want to talk about my experience as a black American being here and did I experience that. So if you are here in Mauritius, right, you walk around and you see the people here and the majority of people that you will see are very Indian, right? They look Indian, uh, they dress like Indians. You know, you see the saris and different things like that. They also have a lot of culture from uh, Western Europe, particularly France, in their dress and their appearance and their mannerisms. Uh, Mauritius is a dual language country, so they speak French, primarily French Creole, and uh, as the, you know, lingua franca in the streets, and then English as a second language. So if you come to Mauritius as a black American traveler, you should have generally no problem talking to, I would say 85 to 90% of the people uh, in English, right? Because they can switch to English generally and understand. Some of the older people, it's just strictly French or Creole for them, but you know, most of the people, 90%, you can get by with English. Is there, have I experienced explicit discrimination here in Mauritius? No. No, no, I have not, right? I can say that I've heard some very strange things. Uh, I was in Grand Bay with my wife and we were having a drink and we were having one of our long philosophical talks about something. And this Indian man and the next table over uh, wanted to jump into our conversation. And so he started talking, he introduced himself. He was, you know, in Grand Bay for vacation, but he lived in Port Louis and, that's, and that sort of thing is that sort of thing, right? And so then, we started talking about, you know, Mauritius politics and society, right? And uh, he basically said to me that in his culture, in the Indian culture, interracial marriages, like the one that my wife and have, are not encouraged. In fact, they're looked down upon and not promoted, right? So, you know, if an Indian man or woman were to bring home a black person as a spouse, you know, the family would not approve of that at all. And uh, he told me also this quote that stuck in my head. Uh, you know, I agree with them. He said, I basically agree because, you know, one day you're going to miss your own color, right? And that was a very colorist, uh, strange statement for him to make. And I felt like that was, you know, anytime people discriminate against who they love because of race or because of family, I feel like that's, you know, racist and that shouldn't be promoted. And I don't approve of that. Um, I was also on a beach 
I believe, here in Mahaberg at Blue Bay, right? And uh, there was this black guy selling shells and stuff like that, selling necklaces made of shells. And so I bought one of his necklaces and I started to speak to him and I asked him, you know, what is it like generally being black here in Mauritius, right? And he said to me, you know, it's tough. Like those were his exact words. It's tough. You know, the Indians don't like us. And then he also said, and I'll be 100% honest, he said, we don't like them, right? And uh, <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, but it's no surprise when you come here to Mauritius and you start walking around and we don't, you know, me and my wife, when we travel, we don't do the fancy stuff like rent cars or stay in like resorts or anything. We're outside with the people. We're in the trenches. We're in the, you know, living in apartments and stuff like that. And we walk everywhere. We take the bus everywhere, you know, and it's it's not a coincidence that when you look around and you see who are the business owners here, when you see, you know, the people driving the fancy cars that none of them are black, even though 50% of the island is black generally, 40 to 50%, right? And uh, when you walk around the neighborhoods and you look at the poor dilapidated, ha dilapidated houses, or when you look outside and who's working the menial jobs, all of them are dark-skinned Indians or black people, right? Or when you look at who are the garbage men coming to pick up the trash, right? It's not a surprise that you're seeing dark-skinned uh, Indians and, and black people doing that. So, you know, when you see all of this, and this is only anecdotal, but when you look around in the society and you see all the people on top look a certain way, or people in power or positions or privilege look a certain way, and then all the other people who don't look that way, you know, fitting in, in, in lower positions of society, that's a classic example of a society that has some, you know, anti-blackness, racism built into it, or some stratification of power that prevents people in those lower groups from rising up, right? Um, as a black American traveler, I do highly suggest people come to Mauritius, right? As a black American, I highly encourage black Americans to travel abroad anywhere in the world. But particularly, I really think it's dope for us to travel to Africa and be in places like this. In, in, Afri in Mauritius, I did not, did not have the experience of being followed around in the stores. I did not have the experience of, um, of, you know, people, you know, gawking and staring at me when I'm walking down the street. I did not have people, you know, asking to take photos with me and all that sort of thing, right? Um, I did not have those uh, othering experiences or experiences of discrimination or fetishization that I experienced in, you know, the other places that I've covered, such as Serbia, such as Turkey, right? Um, in Mauritius, I feel like it's a cool place, but underlying the surface as a tourist, and even though I've been here three months, underlying the surface, there is some sort of um, barrier, right? That prevents the black citizens here from rising up. And that is a real problem because you can see it in the streets, right? And when you come to Mauritius, you see black people everywhere, right? You see, when I walk outside, by the way, they look just like us, right? For any black Americans who have not traveled to Africa and they maybe have these opinions in their mind that the Africans are different than us. No, when I'm walking the streets here in Mauritius, they look just like us, same haircuts, same swag. Like, you know, of course they're speaking French and stuff, but like they, they're, they're our brothers, like they're our sisters. And like, when I see them, I see us, you know what I mean? And um, that's another good thing about traveling here in Africa. I'm not trying to, I'm kind of all over the place because I'm like trying to put together my entire experience here in a, in a short video. But I want to say generally, if you are going to travel to Africa for the first time, I would suggest coming to Mauritius, you know, as a, as a good first step, right? This is, by the way, my first country in sub-Saharan Africa. If you've been following my content, you know I've spent some time in Tunisia. And I have not traveled to South Africa yet, Tanzania yet, Kenya and all that other stuff yet. But I plan to and I hope to, inshallah, right? But if you are going to make that first step and you're not sure about where to go, I suggest Mauritius as one of those on your on your list. Because number one, they speak English. Generally, it's pretty safe. Uh, it's, oh, it's not that cheap, right? But if you come with a few thousand dollars, right, uh, pick the right Airbnb. Uh, the food is the food is good and it's not that expensive if you want to eat out 
Uh, it can get expensive with groceries and that sort of thing. Renting a car might be expensive if you want to do that, but you could also take the bus. Uh, but most importantly, as a black traveler, I think you will feel comfortable here. And trust me, as somebody who is hyper aware and hypersensitive to uh, anti-blackness, not because of anything wrong with me, but because I'm a percept, I'm a perceptor and I perceive these things and, I, and I'm vigilant of these things because I feel like it's my duty to report on these things when I see them in the world for other black travelers. I'll say this, as a black American traveler, as a black traveler in general, I feel like you will feel comfortable here in Mauritius, right? Is there racism here? Yes. Is there anti-blackness here? Definitely, most likely. When you have any other group of people who are coexisting with black people, right? Anti-blackness generally always appears. But I feel like this is more ingrained in the society and maybe in how people speak in private or how the levers of power work here or how the economics function here that keep black people out of power and out of positions. But as generally as a black person walking the streets and being out and about, I don't feel the otherization. I don't feel the, you know, fetishization is generally cool. So as this is probably the first positive review I've ever given in my Black Sit spirit, uh, Black Sit series, but I'm very proud to say that uh, in this first leg of my African journey, I, uh, I've had a great time. And uh, I think that Mauritius can do better for its black population. They can make, uh, they can actually, you know, try to help the black people who are descendants of slaves and help build this country rise up from the poverty that they've sort of been trapped in here. And I hope that the Mauritian government has something uh, for them, you know, something to help them. And I hope that the French government one day can provide reparations to all of the people who were enslaved across their empire from Haiti to Mauritius, right? And, um, what else? There's a lot I want to say, and I don't ever want to cut this short and then have regrets later when I watch it back. Um, yeah, yeah. For any people who are Mauritian and watch this video all the way to the end, um, you know, they might say in the comments that, oh, here in Mauritius, they care more about religion, right? So the Indian person might not bring home a black person because they're not Hindu. Well, what if that person wanted to convert to Hinduism? What if that person actually was Hindu, right? Or something like that. Or they base it off Islam and that sort of thing. But in Islam, there should be no discrimination against color or like that. Some people might say it's classist, okay? Some people might, in the comments might say, Mauritius is a classist society and it's not based upon skin color, it's based upon money. But it can't only be classist if the only people, if generally the people who don't have money are the darker skinned people of the society. I really hate when people come in the comments and say, my country can't be racist, we only care about money. Then how come all the people who don't have money generally are the poorer, blacker, darker skinned minorities of that country, right? Uh, yeah, so that's, that's about it. That's all I'll have to say, really. And uh, once again, Mauritius is a beautiful country. I'm not trying to say this to denigrate the country at all. I'm not trying to uh, not persuade people to come. I highly encourage people to come, but I highly encourage also for the society to check itself, to make sure that it's doing right by people, that it's not discriminating against people and that they're treating people fairly and with justice and respect. That's all I'll say. So good job, Mauritius. You survived Simon Hill's Black Sit Review. This is the view from the rooftop of the apartment I'm staying in. Uh, can't wait to come back. Hopefully, if I'm welcome back, if I can, if I can. And uh, looking forward to more trips in this African journey. I'll continue to make Black Sit videos, even in African countries, no matter what. I will always, always, always speak up against anti-blackness, white supremacy, and for black travelers. Peace.